Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. This is part 2 of our River Guardians educational series. If you haven't seen part 1 as yet, then be sure to check out the description box below. So today we'll discuss how both natural and human activities impact on freshwater. Some of the natural impacts on freshwater are global warming, which has led to devastating flood. You might think this is a good thing because it means more fresh water around. But what flooding actually does is to increase the amount of domestic, agricultural, and industrial pollution to rivers and lakes and thus reduce water quality. While droughts immediately reduces fresh water availability, therefore limited water in rivers can lead to the death of both plants and animals. Humans or anthropogenic impacts on freshwater. Humans can alter or even destroy freshwater environments through the construction of dams. Activities such as farming, gold mining, clearing forests, and building roads put too much soil into rivers. Sediments resulting from human activities can harm plants and animals by smothering fish eggs and small organisms used by the fish as food. Rainy water temperature, reducing the amount of sunlight penetrating the water. It could also reduce the quality of water needed for wildlife. Industrial dumping and the use of fertilizers may also change the chemical composition of the water, making it difficult for animals and plants to survive. So, what can we all do to protect fresh water? Here are a few suggestions. We can dispose of chemicals properly, reduce the amount of water we use daily, for example, by turning off pipes when not in use while brushing our teeth. Participate in cleanup efforts. Get involved in water education like what we are doing right now. Limit the amount of fertilizers and pesticides on plants. In conclusion, we should all make a conscious effort to protect fresh water because number one, fresh water is essential for our planet and it's vital for people and wildlife. Number two, it needs to be carefully managed because only 3% of all the water in the world is fresh and just a mere 1% is actually readily available for us. Number three, Freshwater supply drinking water, water for growing crops, manufacturing, and transportation. So that's the end of our video, guys, and thank you for watching. As always, be sure to check the description for the link to the activity and a brief quiz to see how much you have learned during this video.